Okay, the, the shot that I am now practicing is the 2B. Nothing special. It's going to be a 2-1, two, 2-3. Two, Move it out of the way. A 2-1, two, 2-3 two, combination. Thus making the 2-V. Shwing! So, this roll, I am finding you will hit fives, you will hit nines, you'll hit a couple of hard ways. Fives, nines, possibly a lot of threes. I've run into a lot of threes with this, so uh, fives and nines for sure. Um, good inside bets, but fives and nines for sure. So I would load up on the fives and nines. Now, this is going to be a pinch on the inside. No more, no less, by the way. So, top is gonna to be a hard four, tens, and fours. So it's fours and tens. Put the two V on the top, single pinch. Again, I wanna say, what I have found is that this, this set seems to be extremely forgiving. If, you know, I always like to make the landing zone in this area here. Like, if I could land it on the word com or in this this area, that's my landing zone. I have accidentally rolled it close and I throw it far and it just seems to be pretty forgiving. Uh, so, I mean, oops, stupid table. So it seems to be pretty forgiving and um, we're gonna test this out again today, but it has, it's been doing well so far. I, I have gotten, a 20 roll, I've gotten a 25 roll, I've gotten a couple 6 and a couple 11s, but we're going to uh, give this a shot again to see if we can make 23, 21. The 2V 4s and 10s sets. So, let's do this. All we're gonna need are some handy dandy. Oh, shit, that sucked. I'll take it. Gonna be throwing from middle, back. Nice and easy trajectory. Well, that had some action to it. It's gonna be an easy eight. Then look at this. Handy dandy Breton. So, I was thinking, move that up here so you might be able to see it better. I wanted this so bad because, uh, you know, technically I have been reaching out and dragging the dice over by hand and uh, I could just uh, hear the people, uh, well, I'm tweaking them, I'm rolling them. No, I'm not. What I roll, is what you get. Five. Eights and fives and, and nines to come, I'm sure. But I, whoa, see, still getting used to me having this dick. Um, this is a good set. I'm very happy with this set. Very easy to, uh, to set. It just, it's, it's a good forgiving set overall. And there's a seven out. We're gonna do this again. Now, I'm not quite sure what I did wrong with that throw, because it felt really good. Um, I might have landed it just a little too on the inside of the roll. Let's try again. Let's, let's do this again. Mulligan! Alright. Two, one. Two, three. That's pretty far. Three. Three. 
press through. far out there five. If this were in a real life game, what I'd be doing right now is maxing those odds behind a pass line on that five. Boop, 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 boop. On that five. Oh, it rolled on me when it ran over the dice. That was a five. This uh, dice set uh, modifies. Well, that was pretty far. Seven. Son of a bitch. I can't go out like that. Let's try one more time. I've been practicing this, I mean, literally. I have it right here. A handy dandy clipboard. 22, 10, a 13. And I did a 20, just, I, I was just like, okay, screw it, I'm not gonna mark it, I'm just gonna try and get, get the release, get the throw. And it went for at least 20 to 25. So doing this back to back, it's gotta be video nerves. So one more time, mulligan. what it is, you know, you say it's such a forgiving throw, and the throw says, screw you. That's it. That was it. You're 11. Sometimes, you know, also, overthinking a shot. You know, you're lining up for your shot, you're getting your hands just right, and you're, you're okay, I can do this, and you're, you're just overthinking it. it I know I, I say this a lot, it's like golf. Don't overthink it, just just do it. The dice will talk to you, let you know what you're doing wrong. You just have to be able to listen. Five, that's gonna be the point. I'm not gonna say it. But it goes right back to what I did, say. I think we just needed to warm up. I should have taken a, a few warm up shots before I started this this post. So, shame on me. This worked out okay. Oh, damn, I keep forgetting. Did you see that dice pop up all the way up here? See, it shouldn't do that. That means I came in too hot on that bounce. So it should not pop up like that. It shouldn't do it. And you know, it's kind of good that, oh, four. It's kind of good that, you know, the first one bombed out and we're still going on. I mean, I've said it before, let me say it again. I am not a professional roller. I don't claim to be a professional roller. I am learning just like everyone else. Snake eyes. Just like everyone else. Um, and what I'm doing is just documenting. Whoop, it rolled on me. There's a lump in the table right here. Goes all the way down. This is where the table folds together. This rinky dink piece of poop. So there's a lump right there. So that's why the dough, I'm trying to the dice will roll right there. That was snake eyes. I just don't want anybody to think 
I think that I'm a professional or I'm handing out solid core advice. I'm not. I'm learning. And I'm just trying to document what I'm learning so maybe we can learn together. We're a team, man. Uh, I would get a warning. That's an eight, easy eight. Can't do that again. Now see, uh, the last one I came in pretty hot, so I tried to overcompensate and it was this big rainbow shot. Find the middle ground. Better, better. Ooh, a double knock. Nine. It's going to take a little while to get used to that stick. But I'm glad I have it. That was way far back, but that still would have counted, and that is a hard 10. Oop, see? See? I didn't touch it. Staying true. Watch out for the lump. Stupid damn camera. I just rolled an easy eight. I haven't dragged it yet. As soon as that thing clicked, I went over there. So I don't know if it shuts off before it clicks. It is what it is. So anyway, an easy eight. And I was saying that that, that shot felt like it, it was coming in pretty hot still. So I gotta take it easy on the, on the heat. But that also goes back to what I was saying originally in that this throw, for the most part, when it wants to be nice, it seems like it's a relatively forgiving throw. You might be able to be off a little bit here or be off a little bit there. And for the most part, it seems to work with you. Eight, easy eight again. I like that one. That was a five. That one felt good too. That's perhaps three. So, <clears throat> I remember the first time I was uh, testing this uh, combination out, <clears throat> it was a lot of field bets. I was hitting a lot of field bets. So, um, I'm not a field bet better. Seems like every time I bet it, it never wins. But I would like to see a hard four right now. But, I get a hard 10. See that lump? See, that lump is gonna get me again. Man, that's a lot of action. Hard six, six the hard way. I'm just gonna push this out. You know, um, next I'm gonna try some uh, various hardware hardway sets, but. Um, with those hardware sets, you know, of course, if you're on the right path, you should be rolling lots and lots and lots of hardways. 
Oh, that was short. That was short. But you know what? What it is? It's a frog worm! Skadoosh! Let's do this again. Okay, come out. Let's get four points today. Five points. You get the four points, you get the uh, fire bet. Ten easy. We can do this. I'm getting a stand-in for this camera, so I'll be able to show you different uh, views on how I'm throwing the dice. That's a craps three. Um, so you, you can see the arc, you can see the strength, and um, and either learn from that or let me know what I'm doing wrong. And I know how bad I am and how stupid I am, but. Uh, you know, we can do this together. Dang it. Oh, see that? I'm going to count it. This table is magnetic down there, but it just doesn't stay together that well. So, that was a two and a six. That's an eight, easy. You know, and also, since I got the, the, uh, craps backy, oh, got it. Ah, oh, I just rolled. Since I got this, uh, diamond rubber on the back there, um, I marked that. Um, I have not been launching them off the table. They don't bounce over. Uh, before the uh, the rails were so tiny, and I constantly hit the roll the dice, and they bounce over that little tiny wall. So I love that diamond rubber. Oh, that was short, short. I knew it, and seven out. I hit back here. Should have been up here. See what we did. Two points. I can't get past that two damn points. Let's see. One yo, two, a three. Got three twos. Three, four, five. We didn't hit a six. Interesting. Eight, nine, ten. And uh, got the 11, but didn't get the 12. So we didn't get the small. We didn't get the tall. Simply because I'm missing the box cars and I'm missing the six, so the side bets were out. But I did hit pretty much everything else. I got three hard ways, and total rolls are going to be... Should be 19. Nineteen rolls and two points. I'm gonna make a version two of this. Um, Simply because I really like this roll. Um, so, you know what? V2 of the 2V is going to be coming real soon. And um, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. And the Craps Player is out.